Hey guys, I'm Alara, or as my family calls me, Laura, but if your tongue doesn't work that way, that's okay. I'm a physician assistant and I work and live in Southern California and I created this channel to highlight the PA field and other medical professions in general. I get asked so often about what a PA really is, what's the scope of practice, what they can and cannot do, and I feel as though I stumbled upon this gem of a career and a lot of people don't know a lot about it. So for starters, a physician assistant is an advanced practice provider. That's a mouthful. Basically, that means that you have an advanced degree, such as a master's degree, that you went back to school after your bachelor's degree and got additional training in order to be able to work in the medical field. For physician assistants, it's a master's degree, and some physician assistant schools actually combine the bachelor's degree with the master's degree, but if you didn't do that, you can always go back to school. Once you've graduated from PA school, you'll be able to work alongside a physician who will be your supervising physician, and you'll be able to see patients independently, and this means you can diagnose, you can treat, you can manage them, you can prescribe medications, you can work in the operating room, and for a lot of patients, you may even be their primary healthcare provider. One of the things that attracted me the most to the PA field was the ability to switch specialties. So once you graduate from PA school, you may start in primary care and then later on decide that you'd rather do ortho. You can totally do that. As long as you find a job in the specialty that you want to work in, you can switch across different specialties. Personally, having that option to switch meant so much because I was kind of worried that I might get bored within a certain specialty if I felt like I had to be locked in it for life. And so just having the ability to be versatile is really important for those who like to switch things up every now and then. I started working in OBGYN and I worked inpatient, I worked outpatient, I worked in the operating room. Even though I loved what I did working in OBGYN, a few years ago I decided to make my dream of working in Durham a reality and I moved to Southern California. Fast forward a few years, I'm a dermatology provider at Curology, a skincare startup, and I think I may never leave. <laughs> working in Durham had always been my dream and working for Curology is the cherry on top or should I say the icing on top because of the cream. But even if switching specialties is not really your thing and you prefer to dive deeper into one subject, that's also possible through the PA field. In fact, you can even specialize in certain PA careers such as cardiovascular and thoracic surgery, emergency medicine, pediatrics, psychiatry, nephrology, hospital medicine, and orthopedic surgery. I'm not sure if I already mentioned that. That one. So I hope this was a helpful introduction to the PA profession. I intend on doing more short videos on the PA profession here at the Coral Brief. And if you've never heard about a PA before, you're not alone. Honestly, I didn't know what a PA was until I decided I did not want to take another MCAT again. <laughs> Oops. Best thing that ever happened to me because I couldn't be happier with this career. Before I go, I want to introduce you to my little office buddy right here. I am absolutely obsessed with him and I cannot keep my hands off him. And this is how he feels about that. He's bound to make some appearances in the upcoming videos. <laughs> okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know if there are any questions I can answer for you in the future and I look forward to seeing you here next time. Hey guys, I'm a physician assistant.